Hello, it is Adia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today, it's all about peach. I am going to be talking about my favorite peach eyeshadows and blushes and lipsticks and kind of how I like to wear peach, how I make peach work for my skin tone. Okay, so let's get started. I already have my base on. I have just, I'll list everything below, but I have like very light base, concealer, bronzer. I have not powdered at all. And I just kind of want to talk about like this series and kind of what I want to do. Basically, I just want to do a series of videos really highlighting a particular color and sharing like my favorite products in that color, how I like to incorporate that color in my makeup, what colors do I think are complimentary or look really nice with that color, etc. I hope you guys like this. This is kind of like how I do my makeup. I tend to lean towards more like monochrome looks where I'm just like really focusing on one color and I'm like building my makeup around that typically. So I just thought it would be cool to just run through a bunch of colors and just see how it goes. How many times am I going to say colors in this video? <laughs> I guess I'll do cheeks first. I have several peach products, peach cheek products that I really like that are very in different kinds of formulations to get a different vibe, different tones, depths, intensities. There's going to be a picture where I'm going to show all the different swatches, but, um, I think the two that I'm kind of like leaning toward M Cosmetics, the Peachy Peach Serum Blush or the Joy, I mean the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Joy. So this is the M Cosmetics one, you know, totally different formula. This is like serum -y, so it's sheer, very, very glowy. And this one is like a liquid matte, super, super pigmented and definitely more like coral. I think they're both really pretty, but I'm going to use this M Cosmetics one because I don't think I've featured this product before on my channel. And I know I did use the Rare Beauty liquid blush, not this color, but another color in a past video. So I'm going to go with this one. And this one, I feel like can be like intimidating because it's like super liquidy, but I think it works best over like a minimal base, like what I have here. Um, but it does give like a really beautiful glow. And basically I feel like when you wear this, this product, you don't really need to add like a separate highlighter because this is already super, super glowy. And I'm going to use this It Cosmetics brush. And I think the key to this is to really just like stamp it on. You see that? Like that to me is the best way to get the right color payoff, especially for like a lighter color like this. I think it's just like stamp it in and you will see the color. And I'm taking this just like all the way into my temple. Yeah, I'm, and I'm putting it pretty high on my cheeks. Let's see. I think this is a really pretty color. And I'm putting this on like kind of heavy just because I think your blush is the product that fades the most. And I can always like go back around this with my foundation brush if I feel like it's on too heavy, but I don't know. I think I like it, especially in peach. I feel like it just looks really fresh. Whereas if this were like pink or like berry, then maybe I wouldn't want to be as like heavy. But I think with this tone, I think it looks like super fresh, like very youthful. Like I look like I slept eight hours, have all my vitamins, like, yeah. <laughs> so for eyes, I have this Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot Liquid Eyeshadow, which I'm going to just use as a base. This is a product that when it launched, I was super excited about. And then when I first tried it, I 
kind of didn't like it, but I played with it more and now I do like the product. So I want to share this, but this is just going to be my base and then I'll layer up other products and kind of shout out my favorite peachy shades. Yeah, the way I like to apply this is by like putting it on the back of my hand and then using a brush. I don't like this applicator for the eyes. Like I just feel like it doesn't apply like smoothly. So this is how much I put on my hand and I'm gonna just use this brush to get a nice little like light layer. So I'm just kind of like picking it up like little by little and just kind of like sweeping and like tapping very lightly just to get a nice thin layer. Yeah, and this is definitely like a cream to powder finish. Like it definitely dries down. Okay, so that's good enough for like this base layer. I feel like from far away, it looks really nice, but up close, it's not like super smooth, but that doesn't matter. That's good enough for just to get a base because I do feel like with peachy colors, especially sometimes on brown skin tones and darker, they can sometimes look like ashier, like depending on how the product is formulated, it might have a lot of like a white base. And so it doesn't really show up like a true peach. So I like, you know, having um, like a shadow. I like having a cream shadow as a base. Okay, so for the peach shadows, um, this is the Kaleidos Nebula, Club Nebula palette, which was a collaboration with Angela Nyquist. I don't, this is not available anymore, but you know, it has just these three, I think is a really nice example of how you can make peach a little less like sweet and a little bit more like vampy and dramatic. I thought it was really pretty how you see the peach here and then you see the like shimmery peach like topper and then you see like the burgundy. And I really think that these three colors look really, really pretty together. And um, that's kind of like my inspiration of how to make peach be more dramatic. I definitely think that gold and bronze are like natural companions to peach. But if you just wanted to do something a little bit more expected, I think that the deep burgundy is really pretty. And I also want to show you another palette that I think has a nice example. So this is the color, I mean, color pop. Ooh, no. This is the Pat McGrath. Which one is this? This is the Fleur Fantasia eyeshadow quad. And so again, like you see like this light peachy color, but then there's like this duochrome lavender, a gold, and then this other like, pe like pink sparkly color. I do think that this quad is also a really good example of colors that complement peach really nicely. All right. So I'm going to just use this Kaleidos palette because I do think these three are really pretty, but there's another one that I actually like as, and that's the Kaja Orange Blossom palette. So this is all three shimmers, but this color is a really, really pretty like shimmery topper right here. See, like that's super pretty also. So, and this to me is like what I would typically think of with peaches. I would more think of like the golds, the orangey, those warm colors, but I really just love how this red looks with the pink. So I'm gonna use the other side of the brush that I was just using, and I'm gonna just take this color, this peach, and just like put it all over my lid. Ooh, yeah, sorry, that's really pretty. Yeah, so see like how it just like really popped over that base that I had. Yeah, and then I'm just taking like a clean blending brush and just kind of like, just diffusing this. Yeah, so that alone actually, I think is like really pretty. Like if I wanted to do like an all matte eye look with like heavy mascara, I think that could definitely be like a look, but I wanna play with like 
other colors just to kind of like add a little bit of like complexity and depth to this look. So you know what? I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take this shadow right here and put it over like the mobile eyelid. More just like in the center. And I'm gonna go like slightly above the fold. And I'm sorry, I know that this palette is no longer available, but several of the palettes from Kaleidos have like similar shades. So, so yeah, so that right there, I think was really pretty, just like added some, you know, some depth or yeah, a little bit of, see that like one streak of light right there. <laughs> um, but I do want to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm just going to use... This, this is the Patrick Ta She's So LA. This is just what I happen to have with me. And I just kind of want something that's like more like brownie just to like deepen the crease. So I'm just gonna use this in the crease because like I said, this is what I have next to me and I just don't feel like getting up. Yeah, so that I think just kind of added a little bit more depth, but it's not really like making it darker in the crease. I just feel like it's kind of just like defining my eye a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna go like in too, not just in the outer crease, but in, cause I think that it just defines the eye shape a little bit by just like kind of creating that shadow. <sighs> so how's everybody doing? Are people vaccinated? Are people going back to work? Or are, are people traveling? I feel like it's just been a hell of a year plus. And honestly, it's really just been like this last couple weeks since I went to on vacation that I've actually felt a little bit like myself. I've been I've been very depressed, honestly, the past nine months or so. It's just been so, so hard for me. Um, I really hadn't been feeling like myself for so long. And it truly really has just been these past couple weeks where I've just felt more like myself, felt a little bit more energized, a little bit more hopeful. And I hope that other people are starting to feel a little bit better as well. This has just been, a, you know, a year for the books. Like this is something that like generations after us are going to be studying. And it's just been a really rough time for so many people. But I am happy to report that I do feel a little bit better. So yeah, I think that color was actually really beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this red underneath on my lower lash line to add like a little bit of contrast and color to my lower lash line. And I'm using a tiny brush because I kind of want to stay close to my lash line. I don't want to go all the way down and I'm not going all the way in because I like to keep my eyes looking like open and like more far apart. So I don't want to go like all the way in and like close off my eyes that much. I'll just go in when there's like nothing left on my brush. Just like very lightly in the inner part. And I'll do like a little tiny bit on the outer upper corner just to kind of like add like a teensy bit of depth right there. Yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna put mascara on and then I'll come back and talk about the lips. Okay, I put mascara on and a little bit of powder, but I feel like I want to do like a little inner corner pop. So I'm gonna use um, one of the shades from this Kaja Beauty um, little palette. I don't know. Would you still call this little thing a palette? I don't know. But I'm going to use the lightest shade just to like pop my inner corner. There we go. Oh, this is so pretty. See? Oh, I love this. Then I'm going to going to go back to that same shade that I had been using just to kind of like, I mean, that same brush just to kind of like, you know, soften it and diffuse it so it's not like too stark. There we go. 
Okay, now for lips. I feel like there's two options. You can definitely do like a soft, nudie, peach lip, or you can do like a bold, like deep red lip, which kind of like how I showed in that palette, I think is also like a really beautiful contrast to, um, a really beautiful contrast to the peach. So, I'm going to show you two options. First, I'm going to do the nudie peach lip. Okay, so what I put on my lips was ColourPop BFF3 plus the ColourPop Cream Fresh lipstick. So yeah, so I feel like this is just a really pretty peachy nude. So many brands have peachy nudes. I think for me, the key to making like a lighter peach wearable is definitely a brown lip liner to just kind of help it blend in so it doesn't look like super stark against my skin tone and also kind of like blotting it so that it just kind of melds more and so you can see like a little bit of my natural lip color. So it's not just like super harsh, but Here's this look. I think this is super pretty. And then if I wanted to do gloss, I would put this Pat McGrath Labs Peach Perversion gloss over it. It's a pretty sheer gloss, which is a little bit of nude. I mean, with just a little bit of like a peach tone with like a little bit of peach shimmer. Um, see, like, it's a really pretty gloss, but on its own, it's not very pigmented at least on my lips, like if I put it alone, it would look like mostly sheer. But see, just like a little bit, just like, this is a really pretty like peach glossy lip look. So this is like option one for the more like sweet, super monochrome makeup look. But then I'm gonna show you a way to wear like a bolder, vampier lip color to make it a little bit more you know, evening or just a little bit more like high impact. So give me a second and I'll be right back with option two for the lip. Okay, so here's lip option number two. This is like a rosy brown or just like a deeper nude. I think a deeper nude is always a really nice option to kind of like ground or kind of make any like lighter, more sparkly look a little bit more sophisticated. So I really like this color. This is Brick by ColourPop. And the next look is gonna be the darker lip color. All right, as promised, here is the vampy lip option. This is NARS Rock With You. This is like a mini of their like liquid lipstick option, which I think is like one of the best liquid lipstick formulas. I really like how this looks together. I definitely feel like it makes this look a lot more bold and sophisticated and like edgy. It definitely makes peach feel less like sweet and girly and makes it just a little bit more sophisticated and more like evening appropriate, but you can wear any makeup anytime. So it's not like, certain makeup is for daytime or certain makeup is for evening, but I definitely think this is a little bit more bold. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share my channel. And also please let me know what color I should do next. If you guys think this series is gonna be good, <laughs> please let me know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.